Uh, go. I'm Josh. I'm Alex. And I'm Christian. And I'm Kim Yada. And, and we're, we're Jack, Jack Productions. Productions. Today we'll be showing our observations on pinnipeds. These pinnipeds are walruses, seals, and sea lions. Enjoy and make sure you pay attention because there's a gahoot coming up. The Big Blue. A dangerous place to live with some of the toughest living conditions yet. The part of nature that most zoologists and scientists don't want to bother with studying. However, it holds some of the most mysterious creatures on the planet. Today, we focus on a group of marine animals that don't get as much recognition. Pinnipeds. With flippers for feet and sensors in their whiskers, they traverse through fresh waters with their torpedo-like bodies to move quickly. They can all breathe air and stay on land, but perform best in the water. Some either covering their ears with flaps or not having ears at all. With their thick blubber and keen senses, they survive in the ocean. This is their story. So here, with the, this is Kid. We rescued him from the wild. He's in a freshwater environment to ensure that he has the same habitat as he did in the wild. So as you can see, he's moving around right there. So for kid, his diet, they, he eats primarily fish as do seals do, and he actually uses whiskers to locate prey in predominantly turbid waters. He can also feel movements in the water to see where fish are, and he can determine the size and shape of fish from a very large distance up to 100 meters. He does not have a preference for specific fish species in the wild, but as he got acclimated to an uh, enclosed environment, he actually did like more fish than the other. And this is his favorite fish right here. Get a little, get a little fish right there. And um, kid, you know, he's still young, so in the wild, he would have to teach himself to eat, but he doesn't have to worry about that here because we feed him regularly. So he's just getting acclimated to everything. So. Okay, we have here our sea lion. His name is Mo. You know, just like the other animal in the habitat, he just, he be chilling, you know. So uh, just about Mo, you know, he has apps on the side so you can hear, but seals don't have apps. So that's the difference you can tell. Sea lions got the apps. Seals do not have the apps. So he's doing a great job of moving right now. You know, that's, that's what animals do, they move, so. Think about movement, uh, sea lions can move on land easier than seals, but, you know, because seals have a harder time. But as you can see, he's having no trouble. He's chilling, moving on land. And um, both seals and sea lions give birth to pups. So his species does give birth to pups, and as well as seals do as well. So it's more about sea lions themselves. So for them to swim, they extend both hind flippers and one fourth flipper to conserve as much heat as possible to keep them warm and and that's only above the surface and they usually gather in tight groups to conserve heat but as you can see he's by himself you know so he has to make it on himself you know what i'm saying and uh Arf! and and sea lions can learn a simplified language as you can um that was just him talking that wasn't the language but like chimpanzees they can learn a simplified language. And um, they actually have visible scrotal testes. They got visible scrotal testes, like you can see. They don't like when they're bothered, so that's why uh, the turner had to run away. And um, whiskers, their whiskers are used for cleaning opium pipes in China. So we're not gonna harvest mo here, but he's just telling, you know, his whiskers, if we, if we were to harvest his whiskers, they can help clean pipes out. And it um, seems like the trainer's aggravating Mo unintentionally. Unintentionally, you know, we, we don't mean any harm to animals here. So, um, but uh, yeah, that's just, a, that's just a little bit about Mo here, here at the uh, environment he's in. And so, yeah, yeah, we've been taking good care of him. He's even like a Yeah, that's just, they're just playing around, you know. Yeah. Walruses are most known to attack people in boats and can cause serious harm with their tusk or by capsizing the boat itself. While most walruses attacks occur in the water, there are accounts of a walrus 
breaking through the ice to attack hunters walking on it. In one account of a walrus launching itself from the water to chase hunters on the ice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>